Hey, this is Jason Roselle, and welcome to Get Inspired, the official podcast and YouTube show that will empower your mind, body, business, social media branding, relationships, and anything that's holding you back from becoming the best version of you. Listen, before I became a TV personality, an author, a celebrity trainer, a life and wellness coach, and the founder of Caliente Fitness, I was broke, obese for 20 plus years, full of stretch marks, full of excuses, and most importantly, here's the deal, I was unhappy. I was able to change my life completely, and since then, I've helped thousands do the same. This show is gonna bring you awesome guests, tons of helpful programs that'll aid you, but most importantly, your questions and topics that will make this show your show. My question is this, are you ready to get inspired? Well, get ready, because the show starts now. Let's talk about being aggressive with your kindness. Yeah, you heard it right. Aggressive with your kindness. You're saying, wait a minute, doesn't that kind of contradict? No, it does not, right? Because if you're a kind person or you're trying to be one, you gotta become aggressive with it. If you wanna be nice to people, be nice to people because you are being genuine about it. Not because you think it's, no, oh, it's just the right thing to do. Do you know how many times you've probably opened up the door for someone saying, oh, I wanna be nice, right? You open the door, you're smiling, ear to ear, dimples are coming out and all, <laughs> and you look at the person and they don't even give you eye contact. It's a crappy feeling, isn't it? Or they don't even say thank you. <laughs> happens to me all the time. But how awesome is it knowing that you're not expecting things, you're doing it because it's right for you, right? A lot of times we're living our life doing things, thinking, oh, well, it's the right thing to do, expecting things. Do things because they make you feel good, right? Don't expect. Because when it does come back, and just like karma, bad things come back to you, so does amazing good things, right? So when the next time you open up the door for someone and you're not expecting, someone's like, oh my God, thank you so much. How are you, sir? How are you? <laughs> you know? It feels pretty awesome. And I'm giving you this analogy and just for you to apply this in each and everything you do without really expecting instant gratification, whether it's relationships that you're having with your friends, your peers, your husband, your wife. Okay, you might, I don't know, cook for your husband and he may not immediately say thank you, right? Don't freak out, don't panic, don't expect. You're doing it because it makes you feel good, making his tummy feel full right but when he does because he will come around and if he and if not you're gonna have to set up a coaching call with me and him i'm just kidding but seriously do it because it makes you feel good same thing with your body you're working out a few times a week just because you're not getting the results immediately you can't just work out for a month and be like oh my god i lost 50 pounds it doesn't work like that you gotta take your time put love into it just like when you work out, when you cook, when you do whatever things are making you happy, do them because they make you happy. Those are the right things. And be so aggressive with it. Just do it, right? Do it. I mean, go all out. Who cares if you don't get the thank yous right away? Who cares if you're not losing the weight right away or getting the responses you want from your friends, your partners, your boss? It does not matter. Because as long as it matters to you to do the right thing, you go to bed and you wake up feeling good, right? It's like, I feel good. They gotta live with it, not you. It's just like I always compare, you know, people's horrible attitudes or how they talk down on you. Remember, I dealt with bullying for 20 plus years. When people criticized me or when I was broke, oh my God, why are you wearing Salvation Army shoes, Jason? I'm like, oh God, I was embarrassed. I was like, Oh, my parents don't really have money. Oh, 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 no, don't live your life based on anybody and everybody else. Opinions or comparing yourself. Do things for you because then nobody can take your shine. And remember, whatever you do, brother or sister, whoever's watching or listening, do it for you because you're always shining 24-7.
24 7. and if you're not shining and you're having hesitations you know what to do get inspired with jason roselle and i say this in a fun way this is what i work on on group coaching one-on-one -on -one mindset coaching on the phone on zoom the list goes on let me know if you can relate to this tell me how many tell me some fun stories of how many people you've done things for and then you're not getting the results you want and then you harbor it inside and you start getting so emotional so mad is it worth it if something were to happen to you tomorrow or somebody else all these negative negative energies that you're bringing to yourself these thoughts is it really worth it is someone not saying thank you or complimenting your outfit gonna ruin your day and you're gonna let that affect the rest of your day no seriously i mean it stop depending on other people's opinions judgments reactions worry about you you do you make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're a new viewer and don't forget to click on the bell so you can get notifications every time a new show releases if you enjoyed this video give it a like and feel free to leave your comments i'm jason roselle and you're watching get inspired with jason